Hi, it's Wednesday night, the 22nd of April, and day 113 of Living the Dream. As you can see, I'm experimenting with the flower arrangement over my left shoulder. I'm hoping to get a second one over there for the other side, but we'll see. I'm still looking. Anyway, today was pretty much uh, like the last couple of days in that I pretty much focused on getting my main task finished, which my power statement said this. I will start building out all 10 segments that I recorded for Lesson 10. So take a look at this. Let's go ahead and show you this. The light's kind of blocking that, but that's okay. Anyway, that's uh, Lesson uh, 10's first segment that I did. It's all built out and ready for when all the other segments get built out and are ready to be published as an entire video Lesson 10. And so that's going to be another big day when I get that one done. Here's the rest of my to-do items for Wednesday right here. That was the yellow highlighted thing I just did. And there's some other small tasks, but bam, done. Got it done. Because the days are going so fast, I'm going to start working on getting my back burner to-do list all finished up as well. I'm going to try to do one or two of them each day until they're done, but I'm finding it a little bit hard to do because the important tasks are so time-consuming and they're taking the majority of each day. But anyway, I'm confident I'll find a way to get them done by the time I'm ready to start developing my Living the Dream coaching website. That's what I got to have it all ready to go. So bam, done. Next is a, another question that Croy asks, get honest with yourself, Marty. What didn't go well today or what could you have done better today? Did you wake up early and start strong? Check. Did you start your morning with power, the win the morning, win the day routine? Check. Were you productive throughout your day? You saw it right there and those other things I'm getting done. Did you get the most important thing done? Yes, got that slide started. I'm going to be doing more of that less than 10 to get that done. Did you move your goals forward? Check. Did you show up as the person you wanted to? Here's Wednesday night, middle of the week, hump day. Kath and I had a great evening. We even watched a movie together. Uh, and then we had a little time to go over a few video um, uh, coaching things with Jody Moore and we talked about them. It was a nice night. It went really fast and 10, 15 came quick. We watched our end of the day routine and to bed we went. What about your personal time with Kathleen? That's what I just explained. Now combine all these uh, questions into this main question. Were you honest with yourself about today's task, Marty? In other words, did you keep your commitments you made to yourself today? I was so excited about today, knowing that I was going to start building out Lesson 10 and bring those pieces from the portal of my mind into the world of the physical. And so from the time I got out of bed this morning, it was about 6.10 and started my win the morning, win the day routine by cold water on my face, making the bed, etc., etc. I was thinking about uh, doing that lesson 10. So yes, I absolutely kept my morning commitments, including getting after that lesson and recording it and getting done and working through any little hiccups that happened. The next question Croy asks is, what's the one thing you did that made you feel successful today, Marty? I guess I must have uh, shown a little extra effort this morning as I was doing my morning routine because my wife, as she walked by me while I was on the floor doing my dynamic exercises, as they call it, said, I'm so proud of you, honey, for staying with us for so long. It's wonderful. Keep it up. Well, the feeling I had in me right at that moment as she said that was a feeling of success and real accomplishment, and it felt fantastic. Thank you, sweetheart. Small compliments are powerful, speaking what we want. The next question is, what movies did you watch in your mind today, Marty? Did you make time for them? I watched my Why movie, my Vision movie, my Coaching movie, my Insights interview movie, and my Live in the Dream group Mastermind movie, and... I saw little clips of imagined pre-played movies of coaching someone after they watched Lesson 10. I wanted to pre-play that as I was doing that, preparing all that lesson in pieces, going through my mind, little clips of someone, oh, that love that, that sounds great, playing in my mind. It was so fresh on my mind that it was something that uh, came up throughout the entirety of the day. It was great. Croy then asked, rate your day. I gave today an, an eight because actually the fact is I worked at a speed of nine, but I call it an eight because there was a few hiccups and a few delays that caused me to not get a second one slide done. So it slowed me down a bit, but that's okay. Just a little. Tomorrow's going to be fantastic. 
The next question is, if this was the only thing you get done tomorrow, but you'd still feel like a success, Marty, what would that one thing be? Now put it into a power state for tomorrow. Well, since tomorrow is Thursday, it's going to be a great day. I decided to make my power statement say this. I will finish building out the rest of Lesson 10 segments and get a few additional backburner tasks done as well. I have... Uh, uh, tomorrow, which is Thursday, I have Friday and I have Saturday to finish building out Lesson 10. I can get it done. And that should also give me the time to do several backburner tasks by the end of the day Saturday as well. Okay, let's end the day strong. Here's what I'm grateful for for today. First of all, I'm grateful for our patio. I don't want to show you a picture of the patio or anything, but it's just right out the window here. It's um, finally getting warm enough that that uh, without going outside and it being really hot, it's just the perfect temperature for Kathy and I to go out and sit in our patio chairs and have that little umbrella on us. And uh, that's when we're doing our win the morning, win the day routine now, especially our mindfulness time. We have our hot little flavored sippy water. <sighs> quiet, relaxed. As we talk and as we take in some quiet for about 10, 15 minutes, we hear the chirp of the birds. And we have a fountain out there that has water. <clears throat> And that little running water sound along with those birds and that quiet is just so relaxing, so marvelous. It's just like having a stream nearby. I love to ponder and go to the movies during that routine and then read a journal, um, write my journal a bit and do some reading before I get up and go inside to do my dynamic exercise. So, so about 60 minutes, 45 minutes of that is in outside and now the last 15, 20 minutes is exercising. We uh, have the rest of April all of May through September, and maybe some of October to enjoy our patio. Oh, and that includes doing some barbecuing too. So it's, it's just great. I'm so grateful for my patio, and I'm glad after a long winter, it's passed and we are now can enjoy it. Next, I'm grateful for the law of objectives. This law of success says that we must first have an objective. Before we set out on any journey, we ought to know something about where we want to go, how we are going to get there, and when we expect to arrive. With a tightly held objective, clearly visualized, hear that, clearly visualized and greatly desired, success becomes easier. For example, until the year 1926, no woman had ever swum the English Channel. Then an automobile company offered a red Buick convertible automobile and $2,500 in cash to the first woman who held uh, and accomplished this feat. A 19-year-old young American girl named Gertrude Erdl E-D-E-R-L-E, -E -E, Erdl, I pronounced that word, she wanted the automobile and she decided to swim the English Channel in order to get it. Partway across, however, her strength failed her. She began to give out and she felt she couldn't swim one more stroke. But as she lay there, treading water a little bit, waiting for them to get to her, to her she, they could be taking her out of the water, she closed her eyes and before her imagination passed this red Buick convertible, the fire, this fired up her imagination, her going to the movies, I call it. It gave her a new surge of strength, and she didn't stop again until she felt under her feet the sands of the opposite shore. This visualization of the objective made her the first woman to swim the English Channel. And without this tightly held objective clearly in her mind, success would have been impossible. In view of the almost magic motive power, motive power within ourselves, I call it the plus factor, it seems unbelievable that many people should spend their entire lives trying to be successful and yet not have definite, well-defined, clear-cut daily, weekly, and monthly goals. This plan, so to speak, this vision should be accompanied by a written record against which their daily performance may be measured. Or I'd say a daily video journal, right? I'm accountable every day. It's to be matched up to what I'm doing, right? That's what's happening. Anyhow, lastly, I'm grateful for the principle of success that says it has been said that genius is the power of vis to visualize the objective. The power to visualize objective. In order to visualize the objective, we must get it clearly and definitely in, definitely in our mind. We must have a focus that points toward which we may work with all our might, might and strength. If one is continually changing his or her objective, flopping all over the place, there can be very little progress. We've got to be focused on the objective. Anyway, 
Let's go ahead and end the day of living the dream. It was a great day of living the dream. I'll see everyone here tomorrow night at this same time, at this same starting place right here as I record my journey to alignment, of my living the dream. It's exciting. I'm so pleased with the progress. But until then, I wish you all continued success. Good night.